In this example, we want to find the maximum volume of a box that is resting on the xy plane with one vertex at the origin and the opposite vertex in the plane 2x plus 4y plus z equals to 8. Okay, so this is what we see to the right here. Uh, this is the coordinate system. Okay. Okay, we have the coordinate system here. Okay, the xyz coordinate system. Here's the box I drew in. Okay, so we want to uh, find the maximum volume. Okay, with respect to that the point. Okay, the point that's directly are the vertex that's directly opposite of the origin. Okay, so that's so our origin is here, and the the other point here that is going to be directly diagonally across. Okay, and that point sitting in the plane. Okay, so we want to find the maximum volume with respect to this constraint of this the, to the constraint being this point that has to lie in this plane. Okay, so first uh, we need to define our variables here. Okay. So we're going to let x be let x be the the length, or we can let it be the, let's let it be the width. Okay. Let y be equal to the the length, and z let this be the height. Okay. So based on those, based on those, then we can get, right, we know that the volume is just x times y times z. So the length times width times height. Okay. So this is what we want to, uh, we want to maximize this. Okay. Okay. So sometimes they call this the primary equation. Okay. Um, but before we do that, we need to we need this function to be in terms of x and y, okay? And we can do that by using our constraint, okay? So this is our constraint. Okay, we can solve for z, substitute z into the volume, and then we end up with the volume in terms of x and y. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve for z. We get 8 minus 2x minus 4y. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and substitute this, uh, substitute z back right into here. So volume is going to be x times y times 8 minus 2x minus 4y. Okay, so simplifying this, okay, we're going to get 8 times xy minus 2x squared y uh, minus 4xy squared. Okay. All right, so now we have the volume in terms of x and y. Okay, so now we need to take, so the next thing we need to do is take the partials. So take the partial derivatives. So take the partial v with respect to x, and then take the partial v with respect to y. Um, we end up with, we're going to end up with two equations and two unknowns, okay, after we set these equal to zero. And then we're going to use our constraint to find the uh, z component. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the partial v with respect to x. Uh, so we're going to treat, remember, we're going to treat y as a constant and x as the variable. So this is going to give us 8y minus 4xy minus 4y squared. Okay. And then we're going to take the partial v with respect to y. So that means we're going to, to treat x as the constant and y as the variable. Okay, so that's going to give us 
um, let's see, eight x minus two x squared minus eight x y. Okay. All right, so now we have our two equations. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, simplify these a little bit more. Okay, so this one we can factor out uh, 4y. So this is going to leave us with 2 minus x minus y. Okay. And then this one, for the second one, we can factor out 2x. So that's going to be that's going to leave us with four minus x minus four y. Okay. All right. So now let's uh, set both of these equal to zero. Okay. So we have okay four y times two minus x minus y. Okay. We're going to set that equal to zero, and we're going to have 2x times 4 minus x minus 4y equals to zero. Okay. All right. So if if we let x and y be zero, okay, then yes, these are that will that will get, make these true, but that is not what we want, okay, because um, x equals to y equal to zero gives us this point here. Okay, that's at the origin, but we don't want that. We want the other point. We want we want to figure out. Uh, we need this point directly across. That's diagonally across from the origin. Okay. So to find that, we need to focus on these on these two equations. Okay. So so from here. Okay, we're going to get, we have 2 minus x uh, minus y equal to 0, and 4 minus x minus 4y equals to 0. Okay, so these are the equations we want to uh, focus on. Okay. All right. So let's call this, I'm going to call this equation 1, this one equation 2. So the first equation, we have x plus y equals to 2, okay? The second one, we have x plus 4y equals to 4, okay? So we can solve this by using elimination, okay? Or we can use a substitution method or matrices. It's up to you however you want to solve it. But I'll go ahead and uh, solve this by using elimination. Okay, so that will be a good review. Okay, so let's see, let's do that over here. So we can, uh, I'm going to multiply the first equation, okay, by negative 1. So that's going to be minus x minus y equals to negative 2. And then we have on the bottom x plus 4y equals to 4. So adding these together, Okay, that's going to give us 0x plus 3y equals to 2. Okay, so that means y is equal to 2 thirds. Okay, so then we can use either equation to find x. So I'll go ahead and use the first equation. Okay. Okay, so that means for y equals 2 thirds, okay, we're going to get so x plus two-thirds equals to two, so that means x is going to give us two minus two-thirds, so x is going to be four-thirds, okay? All right, so we have, okay, so we have y and we have x, okay? So now to get z, okay, we have to go back to the constraint. Okay, so the constraint, okay, so we're going to plug x and y into there and to get z, okay. So z is, 
So z is 8 minus 2x minus 4y. Okay. So plugging in x and y, okay, we're going to get so 8 minus 2 times 4 thirds minus uh, 4 times 2 thirds. So this is going to give us uh, 8 thirds. Okay. All right. So that's our that's our coordinate. Okay. So we have uh, for x we had 4 thirds. For y we had two thirds, and then for z it's eight thirds. Okay, so the problem. Okay, so that's our coordinate, but the problem was asking for uh, finding the maximum volume. Okay. All right. So we're going to plug x, y, and z okay back into the volume, and that will give us our that will give us the maximum volume. Okay, so volume is x times z x times y times z. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, four thirds times two thirds times eight thirds. So that's gonna give us 64 over 27. And this will be some units cubed, okay? So this is the, uh, the maximum volume, okay, that we need, okay, that we want. Okay.